we are starting from the coronal scan of the CT and this is the first cut here yes. in this field. This is the first cut and this is the, you know, the coronal CT is the anterior to posterior. So this is the anterior cut and this is the frontal area. You see, this is the frontal area and this is the nasal area and this area is the soft tissue mass and which is on the ear, that's why it is black. Again on the second cut, you see, this is the frontal area, again is the nasal area. This is the nasal bone, that is the frontal, and that is the septum, it is the appearance of the septum. Again, here, the third cut, it comes at the frontal of, uh, sinus, frontal just sinus. the glimpse of the frontal sinus. You are seeing the glimpse of the frontal sinus here. Yeah. In the second cut, you are seeing the glimpse of the frontal sinus. And now in the third cut, you are seeing most of the frontal sinuses are appeared and the nasal bone and this is a breeze of the brim of the nose and that has been appeared in the third cut. Here you see the frontal sinus is fully appeared and here the nasal bone and the septal, that is the nasal septum and here the brim of the nose. And this part, uh, the next again the serial, if you go on the right, uh, on the left, then you are seeing the frontal and also the nasal bone. Now, on the, this cut, again the whole of the nasal, you see the nasal architecture has been appeared here and also there is a glimpse of the orbit, orbit. has orbit. appeared in this view. This is the glimpse of the orbit is coming in the, the view and here is the orbit and the, that is the nasal lacrimal apparatus and the, here uh, supposed to be the Itmoid. agandazi cell and that is the frontal sinus here the agandazi cell is the appearing. And that part is the lacrimal apparatus and that is the se nasal septum. Here you see the nasal septum is going back and because of we are anterior to posterior. And this part the, you see the just glimpse of the maxillary sinus is appearing. And this is the maxillary you are seeing only a spot of the maxillary si sinus that is the ear cells. And then the cut you see first of all we have to remember for the junior we have to see the normal anatomy of the nasal architecture, that's the nose and paranasal sinuses. Then we will see the pathology and comparison of the two. So this is the area where you see the maxillary antrum on both the sides and this maxillary antrum and the difference between the two maxillary antra can be easily visualized. And the orbit and the lamina papyrusa and all are in view. And here you see the nasal septum also the maxillary antrum and the appearance of the inferior turbinate. In this part, you are seeing the appearance of the inferior turbinate here. And this nasal septum, a bit posterior deviation, that is the posterior part. Anteriorly, we could not see, but on the posterior part, we are seeing the deviation of the nasal septum. And here, you see the clear of the inferior turbinate and above, you see the maxillary antrum, the triangular shape of the maxillary antrum. And here only the spot and ultimately here you, you are seeing the triangular shape of the maxillary antrum, which is usually the normal and the full-blown maxillary antrum. On the other side you see there is a haziness and the inferior turbinate. As you know, the above the inferior turbinate, there is a projection and that projection is appearing of the unseenate process. And here on the... Next cut, you see the maxillary antrum and the orbit and that is the floor of the orbit and here is the maxillary antrum is uh, full of the fluid and this is the way how we can go on the next cut, you see here in the, this cut, we are seeing the maxillary that is the ostium and the inferior terminate, above the inferior terminate as we know the unseenate process has got two parts, one is the vertical part, another is the horizontal part. This horizontal part under the omb of the inferior terminate. And this is the omb of the terminate, it is curved downwards and this mass is going to the nasal cavity through these orifices. And here you see the whole of this mass is coming into the nasal cavity and this is the septum, it is touching the septum. So uh, this is the whole thing. here you see the whole of this posteriorly, the posterior posterior fontanel is coming, posterior fontanel is coming and the septum and in between the septum and the posterior fontanel, there is the uh, medial wall of the maxilla is a mass 
and that is coming to the towards the this is the area of the nasopharynx this is towards the going to the nasopharynx so here the whole of the uh, nasal cavity is filled up with this mass that is coming through through the is the coming through here the nasal ostium that is the maxillary ostium so this is the posterior part that is the rostrum of the sphenoid and here is the sphenoid part so that is all about the coronal scan here this so uh, the axial scan for the again juniors i would uh, i would like to request you to read the ct scan of the axial from the scout field you see how the position is uh, position is done that is the inferior to superior the again cut is inferior to superior and that is under the table where the uh, hard palate will be touching so that the whole of the structure can be visualized on this axial view parlad is here okay so here you see that is the uh, that is the bony part you see the inferior turbinate here is coming yeah, there and home. this is the nasopharynx here and this part is the nasal part and that is the septum and here is the maxillary antrum and filled with the you know uh, cloudy mass so here you see this is the area of the nasopharynx and this is the mass and coming towards the nasopharynx so it is the uh, as you know the mass is coming through the nasopharynx it is the and uh, hopefully this will be the anteroconal polyp and this part you see that is the part where it goes to the nasal cavity and then coming so again the next cut no that's the next cut in the axial view you will clearly see the orbital structures and that orbital structure here you see the what is the relation between the normal anatomy this is the lamina papyrus this is the lateral wall of the nasal cavity or the medial wall of the orbit and this part this you see the whitish area this whitish area is the medial rectus this is the area of the medial rectus and here you see on the next cut you see the medial rectus and the optic nerve and this part can you see this this is the glimpse of the another whitish part that is the lateral rectus so this is the whole of the orbital structures can be see, visualized in this axial film now this is the reconstruction again of the sagittal structure sagittal part this is sagittal part is particularly the base of the skull and the frontal sinus with the frontal recess part and here you see again this is a oblique part and you see that is the obliquity and this area is the base of the skull this part is the base of the skull and from the above downwards if i go from media uh, that is first cut we will see first of all the orbit once we see the orbit then above the orbit you see the frontal bone on the laterally that is the sagittal section and here you see the orbit comes and next on the above the orbit the frontal bone comes down and then going just horizontally horizontally backwards and this part on the this is the sphenoid part and you see on the next cut here the frontal sinus developed very clearly which we saw it in the coronal scan this is the sagittal scan is the reconstruction of the coronal and axial scan so this is the reconstruction and this part you see that is the frontal sinus uh, that is the frontal recess can you see the frontal recess this is the frontal uh, beak this is the frontal beak and then comes to the frontal recess here is the agernasi cells and the floor of the agernasi is the anterior wall of the frontal recess this is the agernasi at the floor and you see the how nicely seen is the frontal recess area so this is on and this mass here what we saw in the axial scan so i told you that uh, this is the reconstruction of the coronal axial so this part what we saw in the axial this part is the axial scan so this is the soft tissue mass here again you come down then you see the inferior turbinate in between the inferior turbinate of the roof that is the mass is the you see the slender part and below that this one is the maxillary antrum again so we are seeing the maxillary antrum here seeing the maxillary antrum and above that you see if i go back this part here is the you know ethmoidal labyrinth this one is the ethmoidal labyrinth and behind that this is the sphenoid sinus and above the sphenoid sinus you see the pituitary fossa so this is the whole of this 
has that reconstruction reading.